Hello everybody. Today I take on the ultimate quest, the ultimate challenge. Is it possible to make a normal sounding piece of music mostly, if not entirely, out of cowbell? Somebody in the comments keep on posting that Saturday Night Live thing. More cowbell, more cowbell. And it's got to me. A brand new cowbell has just arrived. So let's rip it open. <laughs> Is that what we've got to work with? Oh, why did I think this was a good idea? Obviously we can't just go all the way through. So we're going to record it, stick it into um, a Cubase, into a sampler. I'm wondering if, if by playing it softly I can get a sort of hang drum sort of effect out of it. And maybe if I put, anyway, I've got some ideas of ways I can take this humble cowbell, which should really be hanging around the uh, neck of some bovine creature, and turn it into something which might produce acceptable piece of music. Don't know. Let's find out. Okay, I have a fresh cup of tea. I have the sunglasses of doubt and boy am I gonna need them. And I have my cowbell. Now obviously the first thing we're gonna have to do is to um, come up with some instruments, come up with some sounds. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, <laughs> can't see anything of those things. <laughs> right, um, we've got uh, Cubase up here, so I'm, gonna st I'm just going to bring up a audio track. Obviously, this cowbell is mono uh, cowbell. And we're going to um, play, some play, play some stuff, play the cowbell in, and then chop up the samples and see how we get on. I'm going to first of all try um, uh, playing some notes just with my finger. Okay, now I'm going to try playing with a, uh, oops, <coughs> timpani mallet. The other end. Oh, oh, that might work. Um, now, I did have an idea. <laughs> yes, I have an idea. I think maybe um, using a, a, a bow might work. Now, I've, this is a very cheap student uh, violin bow, which you can pick up for like £10, something like that, from a music shop. And I, you know, I just use it for sound design, stuff like this. Okay, let's see if I can. Can you bow? Can you play bowed cowbell? You and I are about to find out. No. <laughs> yeah, I bet you can. I bet you can. That worked. Hang on again. Okay. I declare that successful. I don't know what you declare it. Now, this is all very well, but um, we now have to try and make some kind of uh, <laughs> music out of this. So we're going to chop it up and see how we go. There's probably lots of me chatting on this as well, isn't there? That's uh, right. So I think we're getting to the point where we can start to put things into a sampler track and see what happens. So let's create a sampler track. Uh, where is it? A uh, sampler track. Now sampler tracks are hangbell. I'm going to call this, uh, just really simple. Um, you just drag an audio file in and then you can play it. So, new file, 
get up there we go move this up ah that's that is much better <laughs> much better than i thought it was going to be i i i do. okay let's try a different one actually i preferred the first one because it was soft um so we're going to have soft th that one can be soft and then we'll have another one um which is going to be a little bit uh, louder where's the now actually what i need to do is can i fade it i can fade it good and i could do with oh that's better okay that's good so that's one hung bell drum uh track done we're gonna have another one now i'm gonna use i'm gonna have lots of these sampler tracks i'm just gonna make this out of sampler tracks and that will be super cool i think okay so we're going to call it cb Ooh. and we're going to go uh, i'm going to have six <laughs> is six not enough I'm trying to think and talk at the same time which is never a good idea okay here we go so we got two instruments going now um which i know both sound perfectly nice um, and are viable what else did I have going on in here I was going to I oh know one of the things I was going to try and do um, I'm going to have an audio track and we're going to make some endless reverb on it um, so that it uh, turns into a let's put that one on there um, now if I put endless reverb and then I chop the original sound off I'm going to get sort of almost like granular synthesis so audio one let's put a reverb on uh, inserts uh, for my new best friend cinematic uh, rooms reverb from liquid sonics and go whack <laughs> infinite what kind of madness is this guy we will find out very soon it was an experiment that went horribly wrong Okay, so now I'm going to merge these two together. Let's see if it sounds anything like I think it might. Oh, come on. Where are you going, guy? Back to the beginning. That's the one. Right. Let's hear what it sounds like. Perfect. Okay. Right. So now I'm going to render that. And we'll just get a sound, which I can then use as the basis for. There it is. Look. Um now we just chop the front of that like that fade it in fade it out bounce it out and introduce what am i going to put in now let's try some oh, what was it called is it oh i said iris that's one i haven't used iris for a while i love iris it's great. It allows you to whiz things about and do all kinds of really cool, funky stuff. Oh, sorry about that, team at home. Okay, cowbell. Select folder, CB. There we go. In you go. That's it, my little furry friends. Right. Um, now we're going to find the cowbell folder and drag the, uh, some audio in. So let's get Cowbell up. And what one's that one called? Audio. Oh, that's a really nice piece of naming, Guy. You did a really good job there, didn't you, Guy? Yeah, sorry about that, team. Okay, see if this works. It does. Uh, except I can't hear anything. That, oh, because everything's soloed. Oh, I've done something quite good. Now I need to get some ADSR on this. ADSR being a filter, in other words. So it doesn't, at the moment it just starts and stops. Uh, what is that? Uh, that's it, listen. Bit of... Ooh, 
Now, what you can do is you can layer up more than one sample in in good old um, uh, uh, Iris. And if I wanted to filter that, I can filter it. Okay, right. Now, I don't know how long we've been going, but now is the moment when we're actually going to start writing a piece of music. Okay? So all these samples up here, we've got a couple of things going on. We'll see how we may need more. But let's start with... Where's the cowbell? Where was the... Where have we got the super soft one? Is that not the super soft? doesn't sound so super soft anymore. Right. I have no idea what key that's in. Um, let's put some more reverb on that. Um, should I actually take your own advice, guys? Just for once in your life, take your own advice. I'm gonna. I've created an effects track. I'm gonna put about. I'm gonna put some four second reverb on, so it's gonna be quite long. Um, then I'm going to get up my track. And where is my cowbell gone? Um, Hangbell it's called, so it'll be that one. Hello, Hangbell. Hello, guy. Oh, don't do that to me. Okay, we'll just go and find a send instead. Oh, thank you, that's much better. Good, okay, there we go. Okay, uh, except nothing's coming out. Because you're not selected, go. Oh. might try this might go horribly wrong and that's dragging one of these short samples out so that um, we've got something which is a little less abrupt if I copy that one uh, move that over there and then use the drag it out tool like that uh, see if that sounds Maybe get rid of the transient a bit. Nah. Um, no, I don't like that. No need to have done that, so I'm not going to do it. Just write something, guys. Just stop faffing. S no, rule one, stop faffing. Too fast. Um, I'm going to take it down to hip hop speed. <laughs> no. next um. right I need to EQ this sound because it there's bits in it I really like actually I could do it in iris to be honest I could do it in iris and I probably should uh, let me get this because iris has there's no point in EQing iris when iris is actually has the most incredibly sophisticated um, uh, filters in it. Oh, come on, where have you gone? Come on, you can do it. Thank you, Iris. It's all right. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to solo this one up and go. Let's get the.
okay so, so you can you can do this weird and wonderful stuff with drawing oh quite like that quite like that okay let's go with this let's see what i can do with this so i've chopped out the bit of the sound i wasn't so keen on and then done a little sort of ugh. stop talking as though you actually worked this out in advance So there's a kind of slightly creepy sort of irisy thing going on in the background. Uh, retro record, um, because I forgot to record it. Um, uh, no, I'm not going to export it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to render it and then see what I can do with that. Um, let's see if there's any way I can make that sound more. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we're going to introduce a bit of delay because life sounds better with delay. Delay, delay, delay. Don't be silly, guy, guy, guy. <sighs> so childish, so childish. Tell me that's not nice. We need something else in here. What's it going to be? Um, let's one more thing. One more time. Um, okay. Um, what am I going to do? Oh, that's Larry and I'm out of focus. Here we go. Right. Okay. Get back into this guy. Get your get your mojo going. Okay. Let's uh, go back into sample control. Sample control to Major Tom. Oh, we haven't... Ah! Oh, you complete bozo guy. You haven't used this one. Have we? We haven't used this one. Uh, replace event. Chung. Drop it in. Chung. Start it there. Chung. Have a bit of a lead in. Chung. Bit of a lead out. Chung. Stop saying chung. Okay, chung. And unsolo. <laughs> I like that. Now I want that to uh, loop continuous. Actually, I can do something with this sample to make it better than that. But that's really going to work, isn't it? Um, let's do one of those, uh, apply and now bounce the whole thing out. And how's that worked? How did that work for you? Oh, uh, not bad. Yeah, it's all right. Where's the loop? Where's the loop point? Hang on. Now I can get it to loop alternate. Okay, I'll live with that. And now we're going to go to the mix console. And now we're going to add, um, as we're very keen on reverb today, uh, some reverb. I 
could do with something slightly more rhythmic in this. Um, what I might do... Okay. What key am I in? I have no idea. Absolutely none. Okay, from the bit, from the top, let's take it. I quite like that little sound. It's a bit whimsical and wacky. Low is going to be a problem with this little project because um, if everything's being recorded at um, 48 kilohertz, um, the sample frequency, if I uh, knock it down an octave, I'm also halving the sample rate, which means you're going to lose a lot of the top end. So if you play that sample down an octave, you're going to playing it back at 24 kilohertz, which means the maximum um, uh, frequency you get has dropped. So by the time you get down to the bass bits, it sounds quite dull. Um, so let's, okay, I'm gonna put one more sample track in. What I could do, okay, yes. One more, one, just one more, one more. What I really need uh, is a thing called a Sanken CO100K which is a microphone which records up to oh that's quite nice um um 100 um, kilohertz so you've got plenty of headroom if you want to start knocking it down okay so i'm gonna put some renaissance compressor it's where i I'd quite like, I quite like that. I quite like that big sort of boom, but I can't quite work out where to put it. So I'm going to, I'm going to drop it in as audio. I'm just going to drop it in as, ooh, that little blitzy thing might work. Um, I'm going to declare this done in a second. Um, okay, so, right. Okay, so I've, I've moved, I've mixed this out. I'm going to reverse it and uh, what does that sound like? I think I want to do something with this but I'm not sure what yet. I need something slightly more percussive in here. Okay, I mean it's got plenty of
I'm not averse to that. This kind of thing going on. Uh, so, because it's my track, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. <sighs> um, I've decided this piece is now done. <laughs> what guy is this? mess you've created is done actually there's a bit of arrangement i need to do well firstly this has all got to the actual tune's got to come in several bars later Just fading it out under there. Long fade underneath my head. Right, that's it. Job is done. Right, shall we have a little performance? Oh, sorry. turned out better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, the point, I suppose the underlying point is, I now feel more wedded to the cowbell than I did before. Um, no, the underlying point is that you can make, you know, a piece of music out of almost anything. And, um, you know, with all these incredible tools we have to, uh, our, to our disposal. I mean, this is just mainly using the sampler track in Cubase and pretty much most doors now. Logic certainly has it. Obviously, FL Studio is built around this whole idea. Ableton, you can do all these things in most other doors um, and using the very, very wonderful Iris 2 from Isotope. And this is highly recommended for people who like messing like this. Um, and... It's just basically a kind of slightly quirky modal kind of idea with a minimalist thing going for it. If this sort of is the sort of thing which rings your bell, <laughs> oh, 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 hilarious guy, um, then why don't you check out how to write music and things like that? Because, you know, it's a little course we do. You might like it. And, oh, you're new to the channel. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you don't have to subscribe. It's entirely optional. 
you won't wake up in the middle of the night to find me standing by your bed going, subscribe. Oh, oh. No, I'm sorry. That's a really, really scary idea. So I'm just going to unthink that. Everybody. Goodbye.